getting your cat to respond to you, to actually get up and walk on over to you, as most cat owners will tell you, especially in those early days, something that seems so simple can be quite the task. Unlike dogs, at least most dogs, most felines need some type of incentive to respond to their names in a physical way. They need a reason to get those legs in motion and walk over to where you are. And with that bit of knowledge in our back pockets, today we're going to cover one of the old school ways to get your cat to come to you. How to tell your cat to come here and ensure that your pet actually makes it there. So get your voice ready, that box or bag of cat treats, and all of your positive energy. We're going to get your cat's attention and make walking over to you worth their time. Interesting topic, helpful topic, and I've got you covered. Stay tuned. Like I said in the introduction, we're going old school and old fashioned today. An old school method of attention getting and a way to encourage your cat's physical response to you. But before we begin, to the wonderful audience of Senior Cat Wellness, at the conclusion of this video, please share your tricks of the trade, your positive methods, what you've used that has won your cat over, what you have to offer could help others who are struggling to get their cats on the same page. I mean, we all know there's more than one way to tie your shoe laces. And if I were to cover every trick in the book, we'd be here all day. And listening to my voice all day, that sounds like a nightmare, and I won't put you through that. So, today, I'll stick with just one method of how to tell your cat to come here, and I'll call it the rewards-based recognition method. It's rather simple, at least in concept, and it plays on a cat's selfish desire for looking after number one and helps to develop positive associations. The end game, the final result, if it's good, whatever it is, your cat will keep coming back for more. In this trick of get yourself over here, the payoff could help you as a loving owner quite immensely in the long term. As I did state earlier, unlike most dogs, most felines need a reason to move, and simply calling their name, especially in those early days of ownership, well, it could be a very tall task if your primary objective involves some measure of physical response to that name calling. And as for the process, it goes a little something like this. The first measure, ditch the name. Give your cat a nickname, make a sound, shake the box of treats, something other than just calling them by their name. The reason for this, one of the reasons, if it's difficult to get your cat to come to you, is that, unlike dogs, cats don't associate their name with action. Your cat hears the name and thinks, okay, and then crickets, nothing happens. So, for the purpose of this topic and the main objective, Put the name on ice for a while, make a sound, shake the snacks, anything but their actual name. Now, this is all trial and error based. Keep doing what you're doing and what you've decided to do until the responses are consistent. And when your cat arrives at your feet, deliver the payoff. Some snack treats, a few pets on the head, some food and some love. Good associations, that's really the biggest part of this method. Your cat needs a reason to come back. It has to be much more than a one-off, the rewards have to be so good that your cat wants more in the future. The next part of this method, it involves expanding the zone. Play a game of hide and seek. Make your cat do even more heavy lifting. Make them have to work to find you. Force them to cover a greater walking distance. This will only serve to strengthen the practice and increase your cat's association with a positive outcome. When I do this, I get that. Okay, well, rinse and repeat. As for an age, the younger the better, teaching a kid in this method is much easier than dealing with an adult feline or a cat of senior status. It's hard to teach an old dog new tricks. The same goes for cats. And when it comes to you, in all of this, stay patient, stay positive, don't get angry, don't get upset. Many times you'll put this practice in motion, especially in the early days, and hey, there's a good chance nothing will happen. It won't be successful, but don't lose your cool. Just stick with it. Getting mad, especially directly at your cat, will create a very negative association and ruin any progress that you have made or hope to make. And when it comes to the rewards, always reward. Even if your cat takes five to 10 minutes to show up, the reward is the incentive to come back. Think of it as building blocks. One positive response will lead to the next one. And finally, and this can be easy to forget at times, simply because this method, when it works, it can be tempting to use it all the time, but don't. 
Don't use this method for the negative, only positive. Why? Positive associations will, like I said, keep your cat coming back. Never use this method to bait your cat into the cat carrier. Never use this method to get your cat to walk over to you for a flea treatment. If the tactic is used for getting your cat to do something they just don't like, it'll probably work once, perhaps twice, but it won't be long before your cat becomes wise to the game if the shaking of the treats and the nickname is now associated with, oh, it's time to get my flea medication. Your cat will make it a priority to ignore you if the snacks pay off and reward has now been replaced with a cat carrier, your pet will say, no thanks. Keep the rewards just that, rewards. If you need to get your cat to the carrier or to administer a flea medication, just physically go and get your pet. Make no ties at all or associations with the good stuff. The last thing you want to do is muddy the water and confuse your pet. So let's recap just right quick. Use a nickname for this. Now don't, <laughs> don't ditch your cat's name for a nickname. But for this, verbal sounds are the shaking of treats, a signal to your cat. Do this until the cat responds to this tactic and it proves to be successful. Once your cat does arrive, provide that payoff. This will establish a positive association for the future. Once your cat has gotten this part down, expand the distance. Try calling your cat from another room. Once your cat gets this down, then you're in a very good spot, a good position. Next up, be patient. This all runs together throughout the early part of the process, the latter, be patient. Even if your cat has gotten things down but has a bit of a slip up, just trust the process. And finally, always reward and never punish. Never use this method to trick your cat for your own benefit. Never create a negative association. If you need your cat to come on over to you, if you need your cat near you, only use this calling tactic for the good stuff, the good times. Whenever you need your cat for something they would find negative and you know it, you walk on over. Never call for your cat if the reward is something they're not going to enjoy. This will set a very bad example for future attempts. And like I said, this is an old school method and it's probably one of about a hundred or more. But this is where you come in, right there in the comments section below. Provide your methods or expand on this one. Are there other steps that you would take within this method that I did not include that you found to work for you? Whatever the methods and the measures, if you've got something to share, please do so. What you have to offer could help others, especially New cat owners and helping the community. That's what Senior Cat Wellness is all about. Getting your cat's attention in a positive way. The methods come in all shapes and sizes, and there's really no such thing as a wrong measure just as long as you're being responsible. Your cat is safe, and you're not taking negative steps that could trick your pet in a bad way. If you've got something to offer, that comment section is all yours. And if you enjoy this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching, and I will talk to you later.